Hi, my name is Brittany Rang with the Fabric Patch in Ephrata, Washington. You can find us at www.fabricpatch.net. And today I'm going to demonstrate the dome threaded needle case. Okay, so this is going to be a super fast, super simple demonstration. Um, this is my absolute favorite notion, the dome threaded needle case. I have one of these in my hexi bin. I have one in my Brazilian hand embroidery, in my hand stitching. I have one for every handwork project I possibly do. Um, I think I have like six because you just can't get enough of them. Um, and what it is, is it's a dome case that holds all of your needles. So all you do is you put your needle in one of these and we're just going to start right here and there is this little opening right there where you pull and gently tug on your thread so that it holds it in there and you just turn and it parks it right inside there and you can see it is parked and stored and it does any size needle, let me pick that up, any size needle, any size thread. So now we'll just go to the next one available. And as you can see, it just slides it right on in there. Keep turning the dial until it's all secured. And there you go. When you're ready to use your needle, you just pull all the way out. And voila, it's ready. So one thing to note is that if you have any kind of thread that has a knot on the end, this little guy does not like to pull it out. So make sure that it is an unknotted piece of thread. And the other thing to note is that if you have a longer needle, so I do Brazilian hand embroidery, and some of the things you need a very long needle, a two to three inch needle, it will fit in there, it will park it nicely, but you will not be able to get this plastic cover back on. So I just tuck it in there and kind of just store it with it and all is well. And that is the super simple tutorial on how to use a dome threaded needle case. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.